Okay, so the new parts kit that I got for this thing, and uh, I think I got it from Reliable Aftermarket Parts, I don't remember, only came, whoops, holy shit, only came with two steels for the larger clutch set here. The original had three, the way we pulled it apart. Um, I think, I'm not entirely sure, I think the reason that the new deal came with only two is that they want you to put the first clutch disc straight onto this cast surface of the housing here. I don't know for sure, it's just a thought. Um, but I'm going to put it together the way we took it apart and I took the best looking steel out of the old parts which granted it's not Fantastic, but and it is entirely possible that as we start to put this together, Grab that these will pull these off. I already wiped them off, actually. Oh, and um, <laughs> it's entirely possible that as we put this together, we will find out that it's too thick because of that. But I am going with the assumption that. It needs that third steel and these guys here are different shapes and so I'm lining them up the same way well but are these two the same or are they actually all three different I don't know I'm just judging off this one actually okay um, so yeah sorry you're gonna keep them the same or you're going to stagger them like rotate keep them the same as the way we took it apart okay so they were all lined up before Yes. Okay. Near as I can tell. Okay. Because, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing, even. I really don't fucking know. <laughs> Sliming parts in a reverser and hoping it works. <laughs> Uh, they would just stick it in a really, really fucking big press <laughs> and yeah. jam it all together and fucking hope she works. Then you just have like ultimate reverse. Ultimate reverse. Ultimate reverse. Uh, and so getting all these little springs to line up might very well be a chore. And those are one way, it seems. Like, or could go either way. Yeah, I think they okay. can go either way. And I guess that fiber washer deal needs to go right here. I right, saw, so I guess, to update on that too, like, best we can figure is there's two part numbers for those. Best as we can tell, don't know that for sure, but interwebs and such. Um, and that they're just two thicknesses, and I could look back up what the two thicknesses were. Our tolerances on those, but um, I guess we're just not sure what we're gonna do with that yet. Which one? And they are calling it a thrust washer. I think I'm gonna put the thicker one in. Tina, you like it. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I like it thick. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Just dropped one of the springs in the metal dust. Here, let me clean it. Um, Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's down there. So yeah, th these two are what we were referring to as there's two of these guys that are the same outside dimension. Oh shit, sorry, it's uh... I was gonna say something about right it. There. Oh, yeah, hey. They're the same outside dimension, but one's thicker than the other. And so I'm going to assume that we want the thicker one. Because the one we pulled out was the thicker one, so... Um, uh, I guess... If you want to show it to compare... The one that we pulled out, if you want. Oh, yeah. So there's... The one we pulled out, and there's a thick... <coughs> 
<coughs> Fuck. So this is the thinner new one that came in the kit. And that's the thicker one that we pulled out. And so I'm just noticing on this outer steel here that this does go one way. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like that spring there is very close to there. And then we have another one there. Oh, but we only have one. Well, so you got what in the here. shit? Three here, two here, three, 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 and two. Are we missing one? No. But two, three, and so larger distance, larger distance. Yeah, but if we look at the pins here. Right. There's one pin there, one pin there. Sure. Let's see if I can. There. Yeah, there's one pin there, one pin there, one. Oh, I see we have another one here. Well, that's for that port, I think. That would be for the port. Well, that don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> and it does not. Yep. Well. Oh, okay. So assuming. Right. So. Uh. I guess that. Ow! That actually fucking hurt. I guess that does actually make sense. Cause see, pin. Right there. Yeah. And then two. Yep. And then one, two, yeah. three, one, two, three, yeah. pin. Okay. And then if we go up from the other way, we have one, two, three, right. pin. And, and then one, two, three above it. Here. Yeah. So. The thing that worries me is how do we ensure that all the springs. Well, you said we were winging it, so. Oh, I know. <laughs> I am well fucking aware of that. <laughs> So do we need to have it all the way upright? Yeah, maybe. Sweet. That I don't think so. Okay, I get it. So the Bellevue washer is the return spring for Belleville. the clutch pack, huh? Belleville. Belleville, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, the uh, the fucking washer is the return spring for the forward pack. These springs are the return springs for the reverse pack. <laughs> so the fucking. Logic is sound. Yeah, I'm probably wrong though. <laughs> But shoot, it made sense. Yeah, how the fuck do you make sure those are lined up? Um, you don't. I mean, like, that feels promising. Well, and I suppose we can get a light in. I don't know what we're going to be able to tell. But we could... can kind of see, but you can't tell they're lined up, of course. So. Yeah. I'm going to assume that's correct. So much fucking fuzz and just crap in here, it's driving me nuts. Yeah. Okay. A little 
spot. Okay, that's not something. Okay, so is there anything that I'm missing here? Snap rings in there. I can grab that in a sec. Yeah, the one snap rings in there. Uh, let me take a look. And I guess to say it, what this oil here is, is High Guard, John Deere High Guard. I uh, decided that I only wanted to lubricate things with the factory lubricant. Can we go that way? Okay, so according to that, we should be good to go with this well so which is that that is that is the inner okay o-ring here okay. I believe and then bushing yes yeah I believe. yeah we got the bushing in here and I oiled the bushing and everything right and so that larger port is down yeah and then we have the smaller port which is up yeah. top okay so I think we're good I fucking hope so Deal in there? I did. Okay. So I, I feel like it'd be a nice to have an alignment nail for this, but at the same time, we kind of probably actually can't. Fuck me, though. So hopefully, you can kind of see in here this bushing has got a like notch out right there. Yeah, and when I drove that bushing in, it felt like it wasn't all. Uh, change shape a little bit and I haven't actually checked yet if that fucking bushing fits over the shaft and fuck a duck I don't think it does I know I was curious how that was going to work out it didn't seem like the one that was installed had done that right but uh, do you want me to grab a battery or do you not like I don't care about that at the moment Like a ring or mm hmm I'm not sure I shit don't have one. See so yeah, I think that bushing is too small of a diameter to go over this shaft. Oh, I don't know 